Hey guys, it's Yami, and today we're doing a cooking slash baking with me, Batman. So today we are going to be baking a cake for Jenny's birthday. It was on the 12th of January, so like yesterday. And so let's get started. So first we're going to open this. Be yellow. Well, here's the cake stuff. We're gonna start with the directions. So here we have a bowl. And the first thing it says it says half cup of milk. I mean, and what <laughs> of butter? So we're just gonna put this whole thing in there because apparently it says half a cup. I don't know if it's. It says it has to be softened, but I have no idea if this is softened or not. It feels soft. So we're going to put that in there. And then it says, I need to put this in there. It says a box full, but it's only a bag full. Is that having a space in this box? So you get everything in there. And then with this butter nut, you have to scrunch it down. And like, make sure you get the butter like that. Mix in really well with the stuff. And yeah, um, right after you do that, you need a large egg. Homegrown, yeah. Put it on the table. You put two eggs in there. Once you put two eggs in there, wait, am I reading this right? Oh crap! I'm supposed to mix the butter until it's really soft. Oh well. So after that, you need a cup of buttermilk. What's buttermilk? I don't know, but so we don't have buttermilk. We're gonna use regular milk. So we have it says one cup, but we only have half a cup. So we're gonna mix the milk with the butter, and then we'll get buttermilk. <laughs> oh, I hope this works. Okay, now you put that in there. After we do the buttermilk, right after we do the buttermilk, we have to put vanilla extract, one tablespoon. Let's see if we have one tablespoon. Dude, I feel like really long though without any tea. Yeah, we do. So you have one tablespoon. And you have vanilla extract. I cannot find it. it. Smells delicious. I would bathe in this. So you pour that in there. Ah, oh, it looks gross! So, whenever you pour that stuff in there, wait. Almond extract. We don't have almond extract. So I'm gonna put pickle juice. <laughs> this is half a tablespoon. Alright. And Jenny has to eat this. Keep that in mind. She hates pickles. But it's okay. You'll love this one. Let's put another one. Two tablespoons. Oh, that looks gross. This is what it looks like so far. Can you see it in the camera? Anyway, it has not been mixed yet, but it will soon. So after that, you need to mix it. Where's my spoon? I have a spoon. 
so you're going to mix that. I can't mix it. The butter isn't softened. So we've mixed it. And it looks like oatmeal. And it smells delicious. <laughs> so, now that we do that, we're going to go ahead and scoop it in here. Wait, do we need like... No, we don't. Alright. So, we're going to start pouring it in here. I think that's part of the egg. Oh, there goes the butter. So we're almost done filling them. Turning out pretty great for me so far. And I'm going to try to make Jenny eat all of these. Every single one. It smells like rotten lemon. Ah, it fell on my shoe. So, we've been frying them in there. Now, time to get it in the oven. So, the cakes are out of the oven. And my, they smell delicious. So, while we were waiting, I made my frosting. If y'all want to learn how to make this frosting, the description will be below. So, we just need to decorate them. It's not sticking. Um. It might be too clumpy. It's okay if it's too clump clumpy because I just make it better and delicious there. Um, so you gotta roll that in there. And if you want to see Jenny taste these, you'll have to watch her next video for that. So now all we have left is to frost the knife. So, do whatever design you want. Since it's Jenny's birthday, I'm going to spell out her name. G E N Y We have an extra cup big left. We're just going to use my other base. So, great. so the cakes are done. So if you want to see how they taste or how Jenny's reaction is, go to the next video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and yeah. Bye.